You there. How did you get in here? Hi. Name's Bob. I work over in that building we're not supposed to say the name of. You work in Building 7? Bill, you're not supposed to talk about Building 7. And you're not supposed to say my name, Frank. The brass upstairs catered us some turkeys for our Christmas party, knowing all of us Centaurians are on a liquid diet. We have two whole tables full of food. Do you guys eat food? Maybe next time. Well done, gentlemen. Only good law they ever passed. Let's get that safe open, and you'll get your pay. You do realize I'm over 300 years old, don't you? All right, that should do it. They want to be paid for you getting the safe, and so do I. Here you go, a whole half kilo of moldy cheese each. And Bob... Two beers for you. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> no, it can't be. Not Argon again. I won't stop until every developer knows that password hashing is not the same as encryption. Hi everybody. I needed a little image here for the sidebar here is why I created that video. But basically about a week ago, I was or two weeks ago now, I was criticized for my past cryptography helper that was in one of my projects so I made a new one that's kind of modernized so thanks to some help from, from other people I'm gonna just go ahead and show you a real quick demo of how this works and I'll just type in a password something like um, super secret string and you can use your own key code or here the default key code is part of uh, it's just a cryptography helper dot default password and this is how that populates that and if you want to copy that to your clipboard, because copying in Blazor is not as easy as it should be yet. Okay, so that's the cryptography is very simple. Now I'm going to show you the password hashing, and it's slow as molasses be compared to the cryptography. But I was told this is actually better because I was actually doing cryptography for password hashing. And it is actually possible with you know enough effort to decrypt a you know, password an encrypted string so a password hash is different where it's one way so basically that's why I made the little short video to kind of convince myself in case I ever forget all right now my little uh, we'll just do a password that's kind of something like you know an ultra paranoid person might do I don't know something like that and we'll generate our password hash and it takes about three to six seconds on my machine and I'm gonna just verify it and I'll show you in the code how this is working so and just to show you also I made a live demo on my site so this is now my website here I just put this up or it's almost as live I need to it's a little bit behind the uh, code the, the latest update I just made but th that is on my website if you ever need to encrypt something and need a website I'll try to keep that up all right so now I'll show you in the code you know the first thing you do of course is add a NuGet package to the solution now I already have this installed but here's my uh, this is the for the .NET Core, it's datajuggler.core.cryptography, and for the .NET Framework, 
it's datajuggler.core.ultimatehelper. And I'll show you on the index page how easy it is to hear you just here's your links you know that I'm using. And real quick, here's the binding for text to encrypt. This is just some variables on my show you in the code here. I binded so this I probably could have done this a little bit more robust if it was anything professional, but I'm learning Blazor just like everybody else. And here's my little button for like uh, generate. Where's our buttons for? Yeah, here's our button for encrypt. Okay, this is encrypt and decrypt. And here's the method. So here I just verify that the strings exist and I call cryptography helper dot decrypt. And key code is optional. If you don't want to pass in a key code, it'll use the default password of not a secret or you can pass in your own. You do, of course, have to decrypt with the same string that you encrypted with. And same thing for here's the encrypt string method. So you have one overwrite. And I'll show you quickly the password hash is basically the same thing. So just come down here. We have the generate button here and our verify method here. The page needs to load a second for there. Okay, and I'll come down here. We have our generate method. Here, once again, I for this sample, I verify the password and the key code exist. But again, just like on the encryption, you can either pass in a key code or not pass in a key code. And all that is is when I turn the, the byte array into a string, I use the key code to encrypt it using the encrypt method that I showed you on the uh, previous page. So that's how simple it is to uh, do. And here's the, here's the verify. I'll show you this really quick. This just calls the same thing. So like say you stored your password hash in the database, you would just call this and you could say, okay, yes, this person, you know, it, they logged in. So you, you're not actually ever storing their password or their, so, and of course your key code, you would have to store somewhere. And just to kind of show you under the hood how this works, cryptography or password hashes and cryptography has this thing called SALT that I just learned about, which is basically randomizing some of the, the digits to make it much difficult to, you know, to um, decrypt or to break, you know, the encryption. But uh, the way cryptography helper works is actually I return a string that has the salt with the password in one place, and then I decrypt it and break the, you know, determine the salt. And it's pretty simple though for all this. I don't know. I'm surprised that it all works pretty well. I wish the password hashing was faster. So it's definitely. I'm going to work on trying to speed that up, but I didn't write any of this. So anyway, that's my short demo for how to encrypt and decrypt using uh, Blazor. All right. Well, thanks for watching and let me know what you think. Bye.